Tonight, the Russian military is in control of Europe's largest nuclear power plant after a fierce battle with Ukraine's forces that sparked a brief fire there. The Russians are also closing in on the Ukrainian capital of Kyiv with a large convoy now just 15 miles away. Meantime, today, Russia outlawed what it calls fake news, defined as anything that goes against the official government version of what's happening in Ukraine, forcing several news outlets to suspend operations in Russia. The Russian government also blocked access to Twitter and Facebook. There are concerning uh, steps they have taken um, to crack down on any form of information being shared with the Republic. Certainly Facebook is a part of that. They've also threatened fines uh, for journalists reporting on the ground. The economic consequences for Russia keep growing. The Commerce Department announced new regulations today aimed at cutting off Russia's oil refineries from U.S. technology exports. And for many Ukrainian families being forced to flee their country, leaving their beloved pets behind isn't an option. Now a local humane society is aiming to help, and now you can too. CBS 8's Ariana Cohen has the latest from the San Diego Humane Society. Many pets here at the San Diego Humane Society have a heartbreaking story of how they arrived here before they are adopted. But now pets in Ukraine need your help more than ever before. It's unimaginable. Many Ukraine families will not leave without their pets and are taking their animals with them as they flee Russia's invasion. This young woman traveled with her cat on a train. Animal rescue crews are meeting families with pets at the Ukraine-Romania border to provide food, blankets, and veterinary care. We are waiting for them here. We offer food, water, we uh, blankets. They are very uh, cold. Outside is very cold, so the, the animals are frozen. We are here with the veterinary ambulance, so we, we, we offer a first help. It's just heartbreaking, isn't it? The San Diego Humane Society is also showing support. The whole situation in Ukraine is just tragic. Um, and with all that tragedy, there's some heroism we're seeing too. Heroism, like not leaving their pets behind, even if it makes the journey that much harder. President of San Diego Humane Society, Dr. Gary Weitzman, is urging San Diegans to donate and support these three organizations, the International Fund for Animal Welfare, Humane Society International, and You Animals. They vetted these groups to make sure they are legitimate charitable organizations. In the meantime, he says they are standing by in case they need to send their crews to help out. If we hear there's an opportunity to help in a shelter there on the border, to go out there and help uh, with a refugee area, and I'll tell you, I would go in a second. We just want people to help there. Don't help us. Don't help San Diego Humane. Help in Ukraine. We, of course, always want to help our pets here in San Diego, but the pets in Ukraine need our help more than ever before. Check the links on our website of how you can support and donate. I'm Ariana Cohen for CBS 8.